Welcome to To Your Health. I'm your host, Rhonda Alfred, and joining us on this episode is Michelle Bricino, a registered dietitian at Terrebonne General Weight Management. Today, we're going to be talking about maintaining a well-balanced diet while on vacation. Welcome to the show, Michelle. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here again. We appreciate you sharing all this information and being here. So let's get started. Tell us one more time, what is your role at Terrebonne General? So I am a registered dietitian in the um, Terrebonne General Diabetes and Weight Management Center, and I am a board-certified obesity and weight management specialist. Summer is in full swing now, so everybody's hot and eating more maybe and going on vacation. So tell us why it's important to maintain a healthy diet while on vacation. So it's important that if you are going to eat at a lot of restaurants or you're picking up food and you're not at a place where you can like cook more items, that you make the best choices that you possibly can because even those best choices are going to be significantly higher in fat and sodium and um, sugars than what you would if you would cook that same meal at home. So got to be aware of that. Okay, what is the fork rule? So the fork rule is one of those things that helps you enjoy the foods that you like while you're at the restaurant, but in moderation. And so when you have things like dips or salad dressings or sauces, you have them put it on the side and then you take your fork and you dip it into the dressing and then you stab your lettuce with it or your chicken finger or whatever you're looking for. And it'll give you some of that sauce without drowning it in those high calorie sauces. That is my favorite tip, and I hope that's everybody's takeaway from yeah. today's show. Um, how can a healthy diet help your energy level and your mood during a vacation? So things that are high in sugar or specifically high in fat take a lot longer for our body to digest, which means that if you're providing energy to get rid of all those extras, then you feel sluggish and you want to take a nap unless that's what your choice is for your vacation. But it's going to take you a lot longer to digest and then you just feel blah, especially if it's really hot outside. That makes sense. Why is it important to drink plenty of water during your vacation and especially in the summer months? So most people, when they're driving, if you're going on a long road trip, you don't want to drink any fluids because you don't want to have to stop. But that can cause issues because of dehydration. We use a couple of ways in order to prevent dehydration. Number one is just having water, a refillable bottle on you. So that way you can, you know, sip on it throughout the day, maybe not guzzle it but um, having it available where you can drink it and then checking to make sure you're not dehydrated. We use the urine rule. It's one of the easiest ways to check for dehydration. And this is going to be throughout the day. So if your urine is the color of apple juice or darker, then that means you're dehydrated and you need to drink more water. We want it to be the color of lemonade or lighter. Great rule. So what are some healthy snack options that you can easily pack in a bag or a purse? So we always look for things that don't need to be refrigerated. So granola bars or protein bars, nuts, trail mix, um, any kind of fruit that doesn't need to be refrigerated. So like apples, bananas, pears, anything whole like that. Um, string cheese, if you have a cooler, um, jerky, there's a bunch of different items that we can keep just throw in our bag kind of situation. Right. So that, that way you don't pull over at a convenience store and just go get candy bars and anything else. Yes, and else. you're saving money too, which I always love. Yes. What are potential health risks from not eating healthy while on vacation? So like I said, a lot of those foods are high in fat and sodium and sugar. So if you have any kind of heart disease, so cholesterol, um, high blood pressure, if you have diabetes, if you have um, heart failure, just one of those meals can make a significant impact in your medical problems. And so we want to make sure that we're not having these issues while you're on vacation and trying to have fun. How can travelers balance indulgences and eating healthy while on vacation? So the rule is if you're eating out one meal of the week, then eat what you want. You want the whole burger and fries? Have it. Enjoy it. If you're eating out more than one time, the average American needs about 2,000 calories a day, and one meal at a restaurant is anywhere from 1,500 to 4,000 calories per meal. So that one meal can make an impact. And if you're eating breakfast and lunch and dinner, it's pretty significant. So 
you can split an entree with someone. So if it's a burger and fries and it's a thousand calories, 500 for you, 500 for the other person, and then fill up on things like um, vegetables or a broth-based soup or something like that that's pretty low calorie, but it's going to give you the fullness factor that you're looking for, plus give you some good nutrients. And so how can you cut calories when going to restaurants and while on vacation? So if you're looking to still like have that burger and fries, there are some things that you can remove from the food that will make a difference. So such as a slice of cheese is 100 to 150 calories. Um, one single slice of bacon is 100 calories. And I don't know any burger that only has one slice of bacon. Um, mayo or any of the high sugar dressings or sauces, those are going to have very significant calories, anywhere from 100 to 200. Um, sometimes 300 calories for just the sauce itself. So by removing those and adding more vegetables, yes, they're not bacon crunchy, but they're better. Um, or like mustard or fat-free dressings or any of those are going to be lower calorie alternatives. What about taking off the bun? Does that help with the calories? I mean, if you want to eat the bun, you can. <laughs> it's not terrible. If it's the bun or the fries, you're probably better off decreasing the fries than anything. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing this helpful information. That way people can indulge a little and still have fun on vacation. Yeah. For more information about Terrebonne General Weight Management Department, visit tghealthsystem.com. Thanks for joining us on To Your Health. I'm your host, Rhonda Alfred, and I'll see you right back here next week.